Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Humankind. We are currently Egypt, although that'll change a lot of time. The hard thing with this game is going to be what am I going to name the series, because I can't just name them after the empires, because I don't know what I'll be, and it's going to change more than once over the course of the game. Uh, so, we shall see. Uh, this is our third video. The first two were a little bit slower, a little more tutorially. I think we can probably accelerate things at this point. So, let's get to it. We only have the one city right now, but we're hoping that'll change soon. We are very eager about um, just snagging some more territories, though, to uh, claim space. But at some point, we are going to have to be concerned a bit about our military situation once we meet some of our neighbors. But we've got some time to wait before that happens. For now... We got a few options for what we're going to build here in Memphis. We uh, did just finish these animal barns, just giving us a little bit more food, which is great. Another unit of population is coming in the industry. I could slide it over to science and try to get our tech for the Markabatas a little faster, but I think I'm quite happy to continue to build up a few things. We, in a sense, don't need more districts because we don't need more job slots unless we really wanted more farmers, um, which more food more better all the time that is true it is tempting to just put down a granary though because this will give us an extra six food which is as much as one extra farmer right now right four farmers at six is the same as three farmers at eight unless i've screwed up the math which is entirely possible um and this will just continue to scale up better and better as we go plus it does give us plus one farmer slot the difference though the farmers uh quarters will of course give us the um will just give us some flat food even without hiring someone, which is currently six, which is exactly the same as the granary. Farmer's Quarter is a little cheaper. Hurts our stability, but that's actually fine right now. It does move us towards the Builder Star. Now all of a sudden, I'm not sure. The other thing that's tempting is potentially the Lumberyard here. We do have some forest tiles, so this would give us a little bit more industry. It would be nice if it could tell us right now how much industry we would get currently um, by building this. I don't think I'm, I'm eager to build the micro quarters. Our industry situation is actually like fantastic right now. Maybe I will build the granary. Sure. Let's go for it. Okay. Tech wise, um, I think I'm going to start working on the wheel. I realize it's going to take a while to get there, but I do want to progress towards the Mark Bada. And I don't think there's anything else I need kind of short term. Um, although, when we do get a new city, the public fountain is actually going to be fairly enticing, but we'll just have to make sure we keep an eye on our stability. Uh, this group over here is looking to connect this territory to our empire. Um, let's move this way. just want to reveal enough tiles that we can make a decent educated guess as to where we're going to put this. That is very productive. Not a lot of food, which keeps being a theme here. Although it does have access to river for potentially some good food stuff. I think I will go ahead and found this. It's only going to cost us 25 because we've got the 50% discount going on from our civics. I'll pop that bad boy. And I think what's going to happen is you're going to backtrack over here, spot this, and then probably do some more uh, expansion. If we get to 160, we can found a new city. So we are kind of eager for that. We can create our first religion. So polytheism and shamanism. We've gone a polytheism uh, every time so far, although I think it is quite spiffy. We're going to go shamanism this time just to shake it up. It actually does change the shape of the holy sites. And maybe there's some other implications of going shamanism. I don't know. I haven't really done it other than the very early game. So this is going to give us one faith per population as opposed to five faith per number of attached territories. Right now, this would give us more faith overall, but maybe shamanism will give us more long term. Plus, it just sounds cool. So there you go. We founded a religion. Uh, it's over here. It's called the Egyptian Shamanism. Uh, I'm going to call it the um, the Petra Prac Practitioners. Maybe that's spelled right. I don't know. So that's going to be our religion over here. Uh, we're the religious leader of this religion. There's zero followers currently in my empire. Uh, but uh, hopefully that will grow so that we can get the faith going on over here. Currently, yeah, they're just animists. They're not following our somewhat, somewhat slightly more organized religion quite yet. All right, you've gone to attach the territory over here. That's good. I could even attach it to a city. But right now we're going to save our influence for actually claiming territories. I guess I never did claim this one over here. And that would still be fairly cheap, so... We're going to move in this direction and be ready to do that. Please and thank you. And you are going to snoop the boot up over here. Oh, Yokoshima discovered. It's a special forest. Cool. Oh, there it is. So we'd actually wandered through it a little bit, but I, I, I think maybe you have to expose all of it, or at least a certain percentage of the tiles, for it to actually give you a pop-up. Carcass of Riches? 
Wild animals in the forest around Memphis have already been always been hunted for their meat, but now an inventor in the city believes the carcasses can be put to other uses too. They believe the carcasses can be harvested for their military, decorative, or substantive applications. How should the bodies be used? Militarized would make it cheaper for us. To, so this is ten turns, cheaper to build units. Don't really need that. Barter for money, or yeah, bountiful. I think I'm going to go harvest bountiful here because again, our food in Memphis is quite a bit lower than our production. So I think it's going to be nice to buff it a little bit, try to get our population to grow maybe a wee bit faster. We are up to population five in Memphis. Um, am I still happy with this layout, or do I want to move some things maybe a little more over to science? I might want to do that. What I could do is go public control, which tends to be what I do later on. Yeah, it's interesting. This order over here, I think it's still... it it It's food first, then the other three. Oh, yeah, there. And this, you can see here, it does show industry coin science, which is also the order here, which may be what it's doing. I think I'll move it over to science, but oftentimes I run my cities on public order by default, uh, but tend to prefer science to money. Um, I could go expert policy, and it would be... Um, I guess it'd be that, which would be the equivalent. But then that does weight things a little bit more into industry. So it, it kind of comes out to the same, whichever way I go. So I think I'll just go ahead and do that. We'll start to get a tech a little bit faster. Shape some turns off. I mean, quite a few, right? 28 turns versus 14 turns. We're having the amount of time because we were making six science per turn. Now we're making 12 science per turn to get to the wheel and put up the Mark Vadas, which I think is a good idea because it's very likely we're going to run into some people fairly soon. And uh, they might not be as nice as I am. They might not actually be pacifists, as shocking as that idea might be. Okay, well, let's move up here. Pop that next turn and then plant stuff down. So, we might want to go down here, because this territory will be actually adjacent to a city. Although, Subra... Okay, a few turns away... I might want to, you know what, I might want to city Subra before I go and do anything. What I could do is I could skip this territory and fill it in later. I could city Subra, attach this territory, which has got more silk and then some unknown for later. Um, and it'd be cheap, and I could link them together, and then continue to expand from there. Okay, our granary is done, which is helping our food over here, because yeah, now we're getting eight food per farmer, and it gave us another farmer thing. We could get down our first religious building, our stone rings over here, it's our holy site. It gives faith and stability. Um, our capital tends to be fairly stable. I often tend to build these in my secondary cities after they're set up, but they're not there yet. I could also just put down a lumber yard, just for just some free production, which wouldn't be terrible. The sooner we build this, the sooner we get some faith going and we can get our religion established a little bit more. And I mean, you know, Petraism is pretty fun. Um, maybe I will just go ahead and do that. All right, let's do it. Now, I can put it down anywhere. These, uh, the holy sites don't actually exploit the tiles at all, so wherever you're going to put it, you're going to lose the production. Uh, as such, I tend to do two things, personally. I like to put it away from my city, so because you're, we're expanding our districts next to our city right now, so I'd like it to be out of the way, and put it on a tile that's not terribly impressive in some ways, like here, maybe over here. One production tile, sort of a, not around too much else, maybe... I mean, if I were to put down Maker's Quarters around here... Well, we don't lose much, just the one tile and adjacent. I think this is probably fine. And I think you get vision around these buildings. I'm not sure. Some of the bu buildings you definitely do. And if you do get vision, then it could help us maybe spot the Fog of War. We'll try to keep an eye on what's over there. Now, if I had more than one city, multiple cities can work on these shared projects together. But we only have the one right now. Although it is a very productive city, so it's going to have to be okay. I'm going to pop that. Thank you very much. And we are going to, so there we go, it's suggesting two different areas for this outpost in the same territory. This one gives us a little bit more food. This one gives us a little more production. It's a total of 29 versus a total of 27, though maybe we do want to get the food going a little bit more than anything else. Um, I, I, you know, it really, it does look pretty darn even in terms of placement. And ultimately, we'll probably get to take advantage of this area anyway by building various quarters and things like that, right? So maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and build here. First of all, I'll be able to get there a little easier, and it might be a little easier to expand our various quarters outside of this afterwards. So that's going to be fine. You've popped some animal carcasses. How exciting. I'm going to pop onto the river here, just because I do want to reveal this area. And we don't have quite enough to make a city. Again, it's going to be 160 over here. So we'll skip the next turn. Memphis is converted to a new religion. How exciting. Look at that. We've got five followers over here now. Um, 
And the more followers, the more faith we're going to have. Plus, at some point, we're going to finish our stone circle. So, I might stand over here next. And the reason is, once this becomes a city, which I'm happy I grabbed this, but now I think I, I have to stop until this is done. When this becomes a city, it'll be quite cheap to grab this territory over here. I mean, you can also do all kinds of various things with attachments and whatnot to expand the city's range. Uh, let's, we may as well go and see what's over here. Didn't think it was going to be very much, but what the heck, right? And actually, I might want to check the coast to see if there's any fishies. Aristar for Agrarian. That's our first Aristar. We can mouse over here and see how people are going. Some people have more stars. I think uh, right now, I think it's okay. We're, I think we're getting a fairly decent spread in a few different areas. Um, I think we will be focusing on the Builder and maybe Science once we get that going. Although, it's not going to be terribly quick. Now, I'm... Uh, one of the reasons I haven't necessarily been rushing the scientific text, which would basically mean a beeline towards um How come I can't see it? I know I'm usually blind, but Yeah, philosophy over here, which we can't get. It's the next era anyway. Um you also can't research tech outside of your current era. So um I have run into an issue in my previous game where I went hard on science and actually ran out of tech to research until I jumped to the next era, which was kind of annoying. Um, so, it's unlike, say, Civ, you can't just go nuts with your tech, uh, because you can literally kind of run out. What I want to do is, I just want to see where the good spots are. And again, you can put it anywhere. But yeah, those, those look pretty decent. I'm just going to manually walk over there. I'm not going to plan on plopping it down. Next turn, we are going to make a city out of Subra. How oh, nice. Let's go. That animal reigns. Uh, actually, this turn. Hey, that that's fantastic. So I'm going to city this one. Done. Your outpost can uh, build artisan quarters because they do have a little production. And they let you work your silk, for example. Um, but it tends to do it so slowly that I often forget that that's a thing. The other thing is you do have an extra button over here, depending on what civil culture you picked. Uh, you'll have different buttons over here. Some require that you have a army selected, some require you have a city selected, some require you have nothing selected. So here, if I hit this button, it'll convert all the money in science a city produces into industry. It's locked on for five turns, um, and then after five turns, you can, you can then cancel it. You do have to remember to cancel it manually at some point. I'll go city growth at first, just to focus on food and industry. Um, we could have the city help out building the stone ring, which might not be a bad idea. But I think what I'll do, although we don't have a lot of food here, which is unfortunate. But I think I would like to think about maybe getting my, um, hmm, my pyramids down. You know where would be a good place for the pyramids? Kind of moving in this direction. I think, okay, right now, it thinks this is the best place for the pyramid, but I suspect this will be better. It will. This will be 10 production. When we attach this territory, the pyramid will get to work with these two as well. And the pyramid uh, counts as a maker's quarters and gives benefit for adjacent maker's quarters. And I think we're going to spam a bunch of maker's quarters over here. So I think the pyramid will get built here. Assuming I understand all the math correctly, that's going to be the hot spot for it. What I could consider doing, and maybe I should, is just build the animal barn first, just for a flat five extra food without occupying a, a worker slot. Or maybe I just put down a farmer's quarters right away. This would actually add eight food. And it builds pretty fast, and it gives us builder stars. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I think that makes the most sense right now. I actually have enough money. I could buy this out immediately, and I think I will. So we're going to go from two food per turn to ten food per turn, dramatically shaving off the turn for the next um, unit growth, which is really good. We could actually plan another farmer's quarters now over here because those adjacency bonuses and things like that. Um, we'll lose the food from here later, but that's still not bad. You know what? I think I really like the idea of doing that. So we'll build that one. That's going to be great. So now we do have to just wait a tick for, um, for our influence to come back. Okay. Switching, there we go, the Petra Practitioners all over the place. Looking good, that is the dominant religion in all of our territory, but there's no competition for another religion, so that of course makes a lot of sense. Okay, we need 35 influence in the next one, so we'll just wait here. 
and here because we know that's a good tile as well. And ultimately, we're going to want to attach them to our cities or make them a city themselves, although currently our, our city limit is two. But really what we're interested in is just making sure that we claim this territory for ourselves. Um, and in fact, I'm going to claim over here first because it might be more likely to be competed. Oh, actually, yeah, that's... Because this doesn't have any unique resource. We're going to want to claim this, but this one might be more important. It's still adjacent to a city. I should have moved in this direction first. You know, it's going to take him a while to get there. Oh, that is slightly more productive, is it? I mean, it is. Unless there's some reason that I... No, I think that seems fine. Okay. So we're not going to get either one of these attached this turn, but that's okay. Stone Circle's about to finish over here. And yeah, see, it does give us vision over here. Which I kind of like, you know? So Memphis is now idle. Um, it, it has positive food right now. I mean, we might, might want more food, but I think I will drop a little bit more science work in here. Um, the lumber yard would still make a lot of our tiles a little bit more productive. I'm thinking going after those builder stars might be very good. So, and that's an extra 15 industry production. That's a huge, it's 25% more industry. I think it said 15. 25% more production than we're already doing. So that's a big kick forward. Still. Aristar unlocked for the builder stars. There we go. So, uh, we got to six districts we need to get up to a total of 12 to get the next star um and again we you know moving up eras and stuff would be nice also if our population keeps growing we already got one star there and we're about to get a science one we're researching a very expensive tech right now so it's a little slower getting that star but our science rate isn't actually all that bad i think i can go ahead and just put these guys up actually i'm gonna have one you come back over this way and i'm gonna have you it's not adjacent to any city but let's see what's over in this direction And this is adjacent to Thebes. So that is a really, really high productivity tile. I mean, all of these are really good. Like, I'd be pretty happy with that. In fact, am I so happy with this that I decide to just grab this because it's a little closer and a little bit more defensible in a way, but I don't think it matters. No, we'll go ahead and settle down in the valley. I think it's going to be fine. Um, so Thebes, oh yeah, we can build our, uh, so an Egyptian pyramid here, though I think, again, I was still thinking of maybe building it down there once, uh, we attach Fulu to the city, which we may want to do fairly quickly, actually. Um, let's get the animal barns. So we could build the artisan district over here, and we're going to want to for sure. Uh, or, you know what, the pottery workshop for more influence. Let's keep that going. Keep her to the creed. Ah, who runs the Petra Practitioners? Men, women, or all? I mean, Petra is a feminine name, so we could go that, but I don't know, we'll go all. Seems less jerky. Moves us towards science. Or do I want to actually move towards tradition? Because I'll probably grab a lot of pro-science things later, and again, right now, the stability... No, we'll go to all. That's going to be fine. We don't have enough money to really rush by anything right now. Your idol over here. Now, Thebes could attach this. I think it's still going to be nice to do this. Yeah. That's going to give some extra food and production to Thebes as is. Wow, so just there's not a really good location in this territory. Oh, it's quite a bit better over there. All right, well, let's move in this direction. Let's see what it has to offer. And you just push out for more. I'm shocked we haven't run into anyone yet. Off we go. I've always run into a bunch of other people by this point. This is actually potentially really good for us. There you go, Science Star unlocked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come over here. Well, and again, I might have wanted to do a careful move. Oh, these are all cliffs. Oh, uh, grizzly bear over there. Which we know we can take. Although it'd be better if we had uh, defensive terrain Come for on. it. But there's some woodlands over here. If we could stand in the woodlands, that wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we could start on our Markovadas, but I'm all of a sudden thinking maybe we don't have to. At some point we will... Oh! Hello, Mohindaro. 
We've got some neighbors over here. Okay. So, um, I am going to give up a couple of those. And we're going to need to pick a new tech. I'm going to grab City Defense to unlock Warriors. I'll probably do an army that's like two Warriors, two Markmanas. Two Meliers, two Range guys. That sounds pretty okay. See, now if I click on this hat, see, I predicted this was going to be a really good tile for the pyramids, and that's indeed the case. I could have placed it ahead of time blind, but I didn't 100% trust myself. Battle's underway. Whoa! Okay, there's two bad guys over here. A pair of grizzly bears. I'm going to hit the retreat button. And get the hell out of there. Now, um, if you retreat, you can't retreat again the next turn. So if you get caught a second time by something, then you are forced to fight. So defense research. Cool. I might send you into Thebes and just have you join the city. Actually, as long as you're in the border, then you can you can um, disband and join the city. Okay, so this is right at the edge. 25 total. 24 total. I don't know, 25 and a little bit more industry. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, I could found another city, but it would be uh, fairly expensive. If I click over here, you can see it's 500 influence, and it would put us over our city cap, so we'd get we'd lose 10 influence per turn. We'd still be, you know, up by 31, but... Let's go. There was a bear around. Over this way. Okay, we got barbarians over here uh, that I would prefer to avoid. So it might be the end of my, my scout period for now, especially lone scouts. Um, bronze working. We still don't have access to bronze anywhere, do we? Which is too bad, because there's a lot of really good units that use bronze. Um, I'm going to grab irrigation, because both flood irrigation and public fountains can do great things for us. amount of influence. Something should be done with it. What I think I'll probably end up doing is my current two cities will probably go up to a total of three territories each, like their initial one plus two more. Since I can't really do another city right now anyway. Um, so this is the unit that just had to run, but what I could do is I could claim something over here. And seems kind of okay. Let's do that. Again, just claiming the outpost doesn't do anything much for us. But, and you know, it really, the value comes from joining with the city. But it does sort of put us in a position to add a term. Because a, a, a naked outpost is actually very, very, very vulnerable. Let's more a little over here. Let's go. No doubt this independent people okay. possess sophisticated customs, rights, language, and beliefs. I do hope you're going to treat them well. Well, they're not going to treat us well. So this is a barbarian empire. Um, and sometimes they're pacifists with the peace symbol, and sometimes they're aggressive with the lightning bolt over here. So these guys are going to spawn aggressive units, which is going to be annoying. Now, I can go and spend money or influence to make them friendly with us. Uh, if they get tolerant, we can hire their armies, and they won't attack us anymore. Uh, Cordal, we can buy their resources, hire them in mercenaries, um, and vision. And then all the way to friendly over here, we could eventually assimilate them, um, and make them into a city in our empire. We don't really have the resources for that right now, so... Okay, there's that bear. Oh yeah, and there's still the barbarians hanging out over there, so I think the plan is still possibly to just pull back over here. Now, if I want to attach something... Yeah, 130 to attach. Because the cost for that goes up with every attachment as well. I think probably mostly attachments are going to start happening now, short term. Come over here. As well as potentially these scouts joining our places. Game of Prophecy. Oh yes, the Game of Ur. Um, some of these do lead to other events down the way. It'll tell you if, like, a, something might lead to other things. This one doesn't. So either we can spend 80 gold, which sucks, or we can lose stability in Memphis, which actually is going to probably be fine, or we can lose some science in Memphis. We still haven't really talked about stability really much. It's this meter over here. Every time you build a district or attach a territory to a city, its stability goes down. 
Um, and if it gets below 30, I think, then bad things happen. But right now we're okay, so I have no concerns whatsoever with, for 10 turns, our stability is going to be lowered by five. So if we go here, you can see it's 95 and it'll switch. Um, th this is your current stability. This is the target stability. It moves from the current to the target at a rate of 5% per turn. So next turn it'll hit 95 and then it'll stay there. Um, so it's clearly not a concern. So yeah, I'm going to move you forward. And I'm going to use you to claim this time territory for sure. So 18, 18, 21 over here. Okay, you're standing on the tile, let's do it. I do want to do some attachments, but I know I've got a neighbor to the west and I don't want to lose the territory to them. So we'll do that. And then I think you're going to come over here and just join Thebes. I think we're done with you, Mr. Hunting Party. Which is my initial army. It was called Hunting Party. So we'll disband you. So Thebes is going to go from 4 to 5 population. You are going to attempt to get away, but yeah, you can only move one tile at a time. Um, I'm going to move you down here. He's certainly going to follow us, but then when we get a retreat, we'll be able to escape towards our territory. Although hopefully um, they don't just eat Alku, and they probably will, actually. head in this direction. Again, I like to, like, see where it's going to go, but then only make, like, the one turn worth of move. How do we want to deal with independent people? We don't have to use this, because it costs us influence to do it. This makes it cheaper to assimilate. This makes it cheaper for us to hire their army. Right now, I'm mostly interested in spending my influence on other things. I do have enough to attach um, a territory to a city. And since I can't claim anything else over here, I don't think there's anywhere adjacent to a city of mine That's not sure. Down here can be still claimed, although I don't have someone nearby. Actually, this guy didn't follow me, which is interesting. Okay, change of plans then. You're gonna come way down here with the idea to add that. But uh, I need 130 to attach. The next turn we will be attaching. You're just gonna sit on the high ground. Oh, never mind, you're gonna come over here. I don't wanna lose the one Mark Bada. Okay, Thebes, done. Now you can build another pyramid, and actually this is quite good because they count as makers quarters, so they buff each other. You can only build one per territory, but these are two separate territories. So this is actually really great placement. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's very nice. Okay, just gonna go and end your turn here. Just keep spotting. Copernicus population goes up. Um the agrarian Harapans. Oh. You're as likely to meet their canals and farmers as their soldiers. We just spotted them over here. What I'm going to do is move up so I can defend there. But we can go and say hi. A thousand welcomes. Hello, Zedrector. I'm the leader of a great people. I hope you are one who keeps their word. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't know. Open up some sort of trade. You're hesitant. Why? All the different religions, that's never gonna help. Um, we actually might be able to build up an army to do some, some beating ups, but I think it'll pay to maybe be a little diplomatic right now. I'll ask if you want a non aggression pact. I can always break it later. Oh, you we refuse. We would all benefit from growing closer, don't you think? So, yeah, I'm in the game and I, the voice acting is in here. There's a great two days of no, recording for you. I cannot agree to this anemic proposal. Duly noted. So, they refused. We have this grievance that we can either demand, we can demand that they sign the treaty with us, um, and if they don't, then we'll have, uh, well, it'll actually lead to some crankiness over here, um, and justify a war against them. I will, yeah, I'm going to demand that they sign this. Make amends at once. We will brook no delay. <laughs> so now I have a demand. You are squandering my time and yours. And he said no. So um, my population's war support went to, is going to go up by five because um, I, the, a grievance was generated on this turn. So it's going to go up by five. But not only that, it's going to go up by three every turn from now on because I have more demands than they do. So my people feel like they are, you know, they're, they're, they're being a little screwed over here by these, these meanies. 
So clearly what we're going to have to do is build up um, more of a military. So again, uh, the two Markabatas and I think two warriors I'm going to do. Maybe one warrior might be enough, but I think I'm going to appreciate having a pair up front. I do have enough to attach. Now both of my cities, yeah, you have two territories. That's its base plus one attachment. Two territories. So I'm going to attach maybe to Memphis. And maybe I'll attach over here. Because what's nice about it, this outpost can be attacked, but once it becomes a city, it's no longer vulnerable. So we're going to go ahead and do that. You. Now, if we're going to attach something in Thebes, it could attach over here. But actually, I can sort of see us doing another city here once we get the limit. I think Copernicus is most likely to get attached to Thebes next. So I'm going to go ahead and pull you back over this way. Come over here. With the idea that we might go and disband you so you can join Thebes. Wow, just like that. Another half hour just flew by. I think it's a very good game. I think it's quite good. I did, I did mean to, to say, I have uh, done some work with Amplitude, did some sponsored content for Humankind. This is not sponsored, though. Um, and they, did, you know, put me in the game, which is pretty good. But I think this is a very, very strong game. Of course, only time will tell if it will have the same degree of the extremely long-term replayability as something like a Civ, for example, right? We won't know until we've got a few hundred hours in whether we want to put in a few hundred hours more. But for now, things are looking pretty good. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.